Welcome once again to AroundTheOctagon.com's podcast. I'm your host, Luke Henderson, out of Colorado, and today we're taking a, lo a local journey here in Colorado with our guest. We are fortunate enough to have two young local fighters, Randall and Lacey Shookman, a married couple that are tearing it up here in the Mile High area. Randall, Lacey, thanks for being here with us. Hey, what's up? Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you for having us. No problem, guys. How are you doing today? I think it makes people happy when they hear uh, fighters talking about taking a nap because that's something we can all relate to. Oh, shit, yeah. You need to get those naps. <laughs> all right, well, I guess the first question is obviously what everybody wants to know about. I know of a lot of trainers that are married to their fighters, fighters that are married to their trainers or managers. You are the first guys I've ever interviewed who are husband and wife fighters. Randall, what's that like being married to someone that you have to see get into the ring and, and, and fight it out with somebody? Is that hard? Uh, well, it, I mean, it can be hard, but it's not really hard because uh, this is something Lacey wants to do. And uh, she's always told me no matter what, it was uh, her dream. So just uh, the hard part is making sure she's ready and that no matter what, she wins. You know, that's, that's what I care about more is I want to see the W for her so that she can feel good and that the team can have, you know. And what about you, Lacey? Is it hard to see Randall get into the ring and, and fight it out? Well, I mean, at times it's tough. You know, obviously when there's a situation where it gets rough or, you know, like he gets mounted or, you know, he's just in a bad position, I get worried. But when it comes to that point and I'm cornering, I'm focused on the entire goal at hand and that's him getting out of the fight and doing his very best. And so... At that point, I'm not really thinking of him as being my husband. He's just my fighter, and he's got to, you know, do what he needs to do. Still on you? Do what? What's that, Randall? A job at hand. So let me ask you then, along that same line, uh, either one of you feel free to answer. What's the best thing about being married to one another and both being <laughs> fighters? Uh, well, the best thing is uh, always having a training partner, and uh, yeah, I think it really helps your jujitsu. And overall, everything, because if you don't train to hurt someone every time and you're worried about learning technique and you're worried about evolving your martial arts, you can learn with anyone. And so having your wife to learn with, and especially being a fighter, especially you can learn quicker. And you have time to practice technique as much as you want, when you want, you know? And hey, what about you, Lacey? You agree? Yeah, for me, I like, uh, because I usually, because he's so, uh, he barely walks at that, so he doesn't really have to worry about cutting weight and things like that. What is nice for me is that I have my coach 24-7 on me. Like, I can't cheat on my diet. I can't not work out. You know, I can't get away with anything. And for me, I need that because I'm a cheater. So <laughs> it's kind of nice for that. I mean, I don't always like it, but it does help my performance. See, now I'm picturing in, in a, a couple here that you're tell, talking to each other and saying, okay, we got to coach each other on – on you know cutting weight and that kind of thing, I can imagine what happens with my wife when I have that conversation. Is there ever tension, a little bit of uh, problems between you two of you when that happens? Hey, I'm having trouble hearing you. Could you repeat that one more time? Sure. Do you ever have trouble when, uh, like, if I tell my wife, "Hey, we got to cut a little bit of weight," it's going to go badly? Do you guys ever have that sort of issue when any tension between the two of you as fighters and as partners? Excellent. All right. We're here with Randall, the Green Machine Shookman, and Lacey, the Lady Shookman. Lacey, uh, along the same sort of lines there in terms of being partners and being equal in their relationship, do you find that your religious beliefs help with that? we can be, 
top of when you're in there and you're like, I'm not in a wheelchair and I've, I've been blessed to do this, you always want to do your best. So I think it just kind of reiterates how we live our life that we're very lucky to be doing what we're doing. So I think that that kind of relieves a lot of stuff and reminds us and grounds us. And I noticed also uh, along the lines of how it helps our relationship. When I'm not staying on top of my uh, reading my Bible and staying to God, I noticed that when we have those times of tension, the friction seems to be worse. But when we're doing right with God and we get in those situations of tension, the problems are solved a bit smoother, you know? Sure. So in terms of the MMA, Randall, what's your best memory inside of the ring? What about you, Lacey? Um, for me, probably um, winning my damage title. Uh, it was, you know, I had had a really rough start in MMA because I didn't have great jiu-jitsu and I was seeing all the like, great jiu-jitsu fighters. So uh, I, I had won one previously before that and then I got the, t- the shot for the title and I won it like right away. So it was just like satisfaction, like all the hard work that I put in was worth it. Excellent. Uh, we always like to hear about that marked improvement. It gets uh, fans really excited about that sort of thing. We also like to hear about people giving back to the community. I understand you guys uh, work with some kids. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, well, we run a team called the Little Pitbulls. And uh, kids change all the time because, you know, kids are busy and parents don't like to stay uh, very dedicated to their kids. That's why we run it for them. Uh, we don't charge any kids that want to come. And uh, your parents just have to come, stay with you, watch you train, make sure you're behaving. And uh, we have one girl who's really the main thing of the Little Pit Bull. She's the founder, per se. Her name's Alyssa. We call her A-Town. That's her fight name. She's 13 years old. And, I mean, this girl has a lot of potential. She's a beast. We uh, have little boys come into the gym who think they can take her on, and she just crushes them. <laughs> if people... Yeah. And if people are looking for more information on that or on either one of you guys, where should they look? Um, well, you can definitely uh, check out our MySpaces under Lacey Shookman or Randall Shookman, and we have a whole little section devoted to the little pitbulls that they can check out. Great. And if anybody's looking to catch up on any videos or anything like that, should they check out YouTube? Um, yeah, definitely. We try to update our videos on YouTube as much as possible. Um, otherwise, we have, both have a fan page on Facebook under our name that you can check out. Um, and also, the Little Pit Bulls have their own uh, MySpace as well. Great. And what have you guys got coming up that uh, our fans may want to hear about? Uh, well, right now, the team's just getting ready for uh, July 16th, which is actually my birthday. It's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> I'm getting ready to fight Cayenne Hampton for Clash of the Titans in Castle Rock. Um, so just the team's kind of getting ready for that. And then just miscellaneous little things here and there. And that's Team Rugburn r- fighting out of the press room? That's correct. Great. Yep. All right, guys. Well, I really want to thank you for your time today. We're going to be following you closely. We get real excited about anything here in Colorado. As always, we get excited for any fighters around the octagon. Thanks any fighter who gets into the ring because without you guys, we don't have anything to watch. And a lot of us aren't willing to do it. So we appreciate what you guys do. Well, thanks for having us. Um, we'd just like to thank our sponsors, Puzzle Fight Gear, Julian Fury Fight Gear, Cheyenne Concepts, and Primal Instinct. Excellent. All right. Any parting words, Randall or Lacey? All right, guys. And always believe in yourself, and no matter what, people can do more than they think they can do. Excellent. All right. Thank you very much for coming out today, guys. We really appreciate it. This is AroundTheOctagon.com once more. Thank you, guys, for listening. And as always, we're your source for everything MMA.